Hi, my name is Rujan and welcome to my life page. Today I'll be talking on mountaineering. Uh, before that, I'll be introducing myself. I am a software engineer, but mountaineering is something which has always been my passion since my childhood. And I have also pursued various educational courses and this. So I did my courses from Nehru Institute of Mountaineering, Uttarkashi, which is like the most prestigious institute in Asia. And I have done basic advanced and search and rescue courses from there. Apart from my formal education in mountaineering, I have done uh, like three, four expeditions and uh, like couple of peaks in Ladakh, like Stok Kangri, Kang Yatse, Black Peak here in Uttarakhand. And I'm constantly focused on uh, doing more and more expeditions here in Uttarakhand, India itself. Most people, uh, especially in India, are often confused with this term mountaineering. They often mistook it as trekking or hiking. Like hiking and trekking are basically a simple leisure activity which you do on a basis of three to four days, which involves like normal hiking on a trail or going on a trek without any equipment. But in case of mountaineering, mountaineering actually happens when you go above 5000 meter and you use various specialized equipment to climb a particular peak or to uh, you know go through a pass in a valley basically in mountaineering the basic exposure that you can get is from the courses which are run by the ministry of defense especially like i mentioned that i did courses from niim there are a couple of more institutes like Himalayan Mountaining Institute in Darjeeling or in Manali. It is a month course which is being done every year on various levels like basic advance and search and rescue. The first and the foremost is physical fitness as uh, mountaineering is a very demanding sport and you have to like walk or hike for like many kilometers a day itself. So the physical stamina has to be good. For a climber. The first and foremost is satisfaction. There is an inner you know peace by doing these things. If you are into outdoors and you like nature, wilderness and everything, then there is a very uh, deep level of satisfaction by doing all this. The first one is uh, the risk factor. There is always huge amount of risk attached to this sport as no one can predict the nature and the, you know, whenever you are climbing a peak, you, you can't say that you won't fall in a crevasse or anything can happen in that extreme weather. So there is a definite amount of risk factor attached to it. Uh, the day of a mountaineer basically starts early and ends early. He wakes up at 4 and sleeps at 7 in general. This is the practice. And... Uh, a uh, day generally involves uh, exploring or shifting a camp, like gaining some altitude or descending down from a hill. This is a general lifestyle, living in solitude. I hope that I have been able to give you a balanced view on mountaineering. Thank you and keep climbing.